should you invest money in the stock market as a student. So if you are a student in college, is it a good idea to invest? And that's gonna be the topic of this video. So first, let me just say, I think that the answer is yes. You should try to make conservative long-term investments. You should, you should always try to allocate some of your money, even if you have very little to invest. And, and one of the biggest arguments I hear over and over from people that I know in life, people that are my friends, that I talk to and I tell them, hey, you should, you should try to save money, you should try to invest, is that they don't have any money to invest. They're broke, they're, they're barely making it, they're living paycheck to paycheck. But the reality is this, it's about your life and your mindset. You know, if, if you never save money, then you're never gonna be able to build wealth. If you never invest, then you're never gonna build wealth. So by not investing, by not saving, you are already deciding that you choose to not be wealthy in the long run. And I think that's a mistake. I think a lot of it comes from just lack of education. I was lucky enough that my friend who, he has a math PhD now and he didn't then, he got me into investing many, many years ago. And it's because he knew about that, right? His, his parents were rich, so he had lots of money as a student, and so he invested as a student. On the other hand, I didn't have lots of money, but you know, because of him, I got started. And so I think that if you're watching this video and you're not saving for your future, I think it's important that you start. And I'm not gonna give specific, you know, stock picks or investment advice in this video because there's no 100% right way to invest and no 100% wrong way to do it. There's there's all kinds of things you can invest in the world, right? You can you can buy stocks, you can buy real estate, you can buy cryptocurrencies, you can invest in a, in a business. But the key is that you have to start somewhere, right? The key is that you have to start investing. And even if you just invest a dollar, even just a dollar a day or a dollar a month, just, just a little bit, it adds up. And that's one of the big arguments I hear from people who don't invest. They say, well, why would I invest if I can only put in $20? But you know, compound interest is a real thing, my friends, right? This is a mathematics channel. I do post some math content here and compound interest is, I mean, it's one of the wonders of the world, right? I mean, it's, it's incredible. You know, if you continue to reinvest interest and dividends, you know, it does grow exponentially, right? It's an exponential model. If you look at the mathematical model for compound interest, it is exponential. So you can have exponential growth in your wealth. Now, with low rates and, you know, it's gonna take time, right? It's gonna take time. It's not, you know, get rich quick. And, and I guess the point of this video is if you haven't gotten into investing, it, it's time to start, right? Start start saving a little bit. As far as what to invest in, because I know many people always wanna know, like, what is the best investment? I've got all kinds of ideas, but I'm not gonna get into them in this video. Instead, I'll leave you some links to a few reputable sources, reputable books, books that have withstood the test of time that discuss some good investing philosophies that have fairly good track records. So I'll leave those links in the description in case you want to check them out. But start today, my friends, don't, don't not invest, right? The earlier you start, you know, the, the better your future. I, I mean, it makes a difference. If you want to learn math, check out my books and courses, links in the description. And yeah, check out the description. I'll try to put something there that can guide you down the right path. If you enjoyed this content, let me know. I'll make more more content on this. I just wanted to talk a little bit about it because there's a lot of people out there that aren't saving money and it's your life, my friends. Stay strong.